Okay, so in this case we have lead to chloride, we got the KSP. In part A, let's see, this is window 09, number 27. Part A, we got the lead concentration is 0.016. In part B, we want to force it to be 6.3 times 10 to the minus 8. We're going to do that by adding uh, NaCl. Well, what that adds is a common ion. So now let's write a reaction again. Lead, or really we haven't written it yet. <laughs> this is our solid. And then we go to lead 2 plus plus 2 Cl minus. And these are both aqueous. What's the KSP given? KSP is given in the question. Yeah. Okay. And so now uh, we're going to have a funny looking ice table though. Well, you'll see. Okay, we're going to ignore this. And probably the solution is a little funny. For typically, when an instructor writes out a solution to one of these KSP problems, they skip the ice table. Just assuming the TA will figure it out when they grade it. So that's why when you read the problem, they skip right to the end. Uh, no ice table included. Though, really, most people use ice table to solve it. So you go zero. Uh, and then you could really have whatever concentration of this stuff, whatever variable zero? you want. They use the variable y. Why is it zero? Huh? Why is the concentration for BV2 plus zero instead of 0 0.016? Oh, 0 0.016. But you wrote up higher. Oh, you want to make it 0 0.016. Ooh. That's going to mess you up if you do that. Oh. I, see, I see why you would think that, though. So, so Basically, what we're saying, part B is kind of a totally new problem. So it, it does say we're starting, you know, we want to end at this. But the easiest way to solve it is just assume you got nothing and you're going to what it's talking about. That's interesting. I never would have thought of what you just said. But... Yeah, if you start off with a 0.016 initially, I, I think it'll be pretty much impossible to solve. I, I don't know Wait, how you would solve it. Part A or part B? B. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's part why I think. A, we got 0.016, and then it says, how many grams of sodium chloride must be added to a liter of the above solution in order to make it uh, 6.3 times 10 to minus 8? So should we put 6.3? Uh, we're going to put the 6.3 in there in just a second. Yeah. So even though it says to the above solution, Mm -hmm. and you're just, and the solution has... It's kind of like you're doing a titration problem and part B, you know, you know you're adding more, but you're doing the titration problem from, from scratch. Got it. Yeah. So it's basically like A doesn't really even have to be there to do B. B is a standalone problem. A is really irrelevant when you find the concentrations of uh, lead chloride by itself at equilibrium. You don't really need that in order to solve the problem. So that's why B is really a standalone issue. It's just saying from where, really it's mean from wherever you're at, we want to get to here. Well, to set up the ice table in our most convenient way, we're going to start at zero. Okay. Is that kind of okay now? Okay. So, um, okay, so we want, uh, now, now, you gotta be, now, so we're going to 6.3 times 10 to the minus 8 at equilibrium. So really, that number is the number you want down here. Okay, that's our equilibrium uh, concentration for that one, uh, which is going to kind of be our x. So this is going to be uh, plus 6.3 times 10 to the minus 8. This is like our normal x. Do you want me to shift it that much? Okay, over here, this is what we don't know is the initial. So in the solutions, I'll just follow what it did. Use y, if you, whatever, q, m, it doesn't matter, whatever your favorite letter is. That's because that's what we're solving for? Uh, that is, yeah, that's what we're solving for. So now, this is plus what? Two times. Right, 2 
times this x of shift, which they give you in the problems. They give you x again. Again, how did I know it was x? Because in the problem it says we're going to re reduce the concentration to 6.3. So it tells us what the equilibrium concentration is, which is the final concentration. So this is y plus 2 times 6.3 times 10 to the minus 8. Okay, so again, they're giving us x. Normally we go plus x plus 2x. This would be x and this would be the common ion plus 2x. And then we set it up over here uh, is your kind of equation. Let's do that in a different color. So you'd say Ksp, and we know that's lead, 2 plus, and remember the Cl minus is squared. In KSP, we know 1.6 times 10 to the minus 5. Lead is 6.3 times 10 to the minus 8. And then the chlorine is Y plus 2 times 6.3 times 10 to the minus 8. And that's squared. So you got to solve for Y right now. And Y is, so that's your final answer. Solve for Y. And Y represents, again, the amount of sodium chloride you have to add to get to that final concentration of this. So usually when we do a problem, we give you the amount of sodium chloride, and you solve for this number down here. But this is the reverse. We're, at, we're asking you for the amount to add, and we're giving you X, or the final equilibrium concentration. So they end up getting... Uh, now, they get 15.94 molar for Y. So, remember Y is 15.94 molar. And that is equal to the Cl minus concentration uh, for Y. Yeah, which is that. The initial, this is the initial. This is 2Y. Huh? No, no, no. The, the C, 2Cl minus. Huh? Did I miswrite something? No, just confused. The, the y is below the t, uh, 2 Cl minus, but here, just the Cl minus. Yeah, this is y. So this is the initial concentration of chlorine. But the Cl minus should be one half of y. Uh, why is that? Yeah, not necessarily. That's a good thing. I was going to point that out earlier, but since I forgot. <laughs> since you brought it up, yeah, the number you put in here, even though there's a variable here, does not affect the initial. This is just pure initial concentration. So it's not affected by this variable. Only the C line is. Yeah, so you need to be careful of that. This was a 10. You're not going to do anything with that stoichiometry there. It doesn't affect the pure initial concentration. And the Cl minus also come from the P, uh, PbCl2. That's true, and so that's why this amount has 2 here, because that's the one that doubles, not the amount from sodium chloride. Uh, but this is negligible compared to 15.94. Remember, we're going to assume that x is small, which it is. Yeah. And so that's normal. Uh, and so, this is not the final answer, they want the mass, so you, you need to convert, uh, yeah, through molar mass of sodium chloride, you need to go to grams. Remember, M is moles per liter. So they tell you it's one liter, and so you can get rid of the volume, and then you need the uh, molar mass to go from moles to grams. That kind of okay. It's just it's a total reverse of a typical common iron problem.